Hi, my name is Julianne and today I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon wrap-up. Booktubeathon just ended and I'm going to be wrapping them up, I guess, talking about all the books I read during that week. During Booktubeathon there's challenges and one of the challenges is to read like seven books and I only read up to five books. But, oh well. The thing is, like, I hadn't been reading as much, so I'm impressed that I was even able to get five books in one week. So I'm happy with what I did. At least I got through a little bit of my TBR. So the first book that I want to talk about that I read was called The Fade by Chris Wooding. So this is the book. And this is this was to complete the challenge of reading a book by one of your favorite authors. And Chris Wooding is definitely one of my favorite authors of all time. My favorite book... Um, well my favorite books by him is Malice and then the sequel, Havoc. It's so good. So I read The Fade and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was so badass. It was just amazing. It's like a, like imagine a fantasy novel that takes place underground inside an, of Monsters and Men music, like a lyric music video. That, that is the image that I had in my mind. Like some of the creatures that were in this book I imagined as the creatures from an of Monsters and Men like lyric video, like Dirty Paws and um, Love 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 and like stuff like that. But I love 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 of Monsters and Men. Like I can't believe it took me so long to finally listen to the music but it's so good. Anyways, I highly recommend Dirty Paws and Wolves Without Teeth. Like top two favorite songs I think. Anyways, back to this book. It's kind of hard to explain I guess like it's not that hard but it's kind of like it's hard to put this exactly in a genre because I would say it's fantasy but it's almost steampunkish and actually I have like this theory that takes place in the future but like that's just like a theory it's not like canon in this civilization um that's underground um because there's stuff that happened above ground which you'll find out if you read this book so it made everyone want to move underground and there's just different groups of people and so in this civilization there's a, this whole war going on between two of the people which I don't remember names at all uh, <laughs> I'm surprised I even remember the main character's name but anyway so Orna is a is the main character and I just have to say she is the most badass mom I've ever read like in fiction like oh my god she's so cool She's a bondswoman, and she's also a cadre, so um, because this is just like a wrap-up video, I'm not going to go into detail what those are, but I am planning on doing a full review, so I'll go into more detail about that. But anyways, so she is like in a battle or something, and then she gets captured. She gets taken to like this terrible, terrible prison. Like think of the worst prison, and it's probably like ten times worse. And she's taken to this prison, and then she has to try to escape, and then it's just crazy. And then there's this whole like conspiracy thing about the war, and it's amazing, and it's awesome. And the fight scenes are the best fight scenes I probably have read. Like like they're they're like Derek Landy level, and maybe possibly more. And it's awesome. So I highly recommend The Fade. Another book that I read was also by Chris Winning, called Silver. This was a reread, and. I love Silver so much. It was definitely better when you just read it for the first time because like you don't know what's gonna happen but even though I'm reading it for the second time and I kind of knew what was gonna happen I was still yelling at these characters I was like you gotta run oh my god it, uh, I got so stressed out I'm like I know I know that character's gonna live or die although there were a few characters that I thought died but they didn't so I'm like okay at, at least they didn't die it's fine Fine. What this story is about, um, it's basically like there's the, like this thing. Okay, so there's like I don't I don't want to get too much detail what causes this because you can find that out when you read the book. But basically, there's this thing that's turning people and animals silver. It's just read the book, um, and it basically turns them into. Franks. If you read the Maze Runner trilogy, you'll know what I'm talking about. Zombie-like, but not actually zombies. Especially Scorch Trial movie, they, they, they were not actually zombies, but okay. So they're zombie-like, but they're not actually zombies. Keep that in mind, okay? They didn't die and come back from the dead. They just got turned into these creatures that want to kill everyone. 
and this takes place at a boarding school. It's great. It takes place in England. I believe, I'm pretty sure the author is British, so I'm assuming. And yeah, it was just, it's a crazy ride. It's awesome. I love it so much. And I, oh my god, it was so great. And this fulfilled the whole requirement to read something at night. So I read this all at night, which I recommend because it's scary and it's awesome and I love it. Um, and it's just the characters were interesting and I don't know, it's just great. And I really love this. It's just like a splash of silver there. It's cool. What I don't understand, I think this is the British version. It's like a red cover and I'm like, why would you make it a red cover? It's called silver. Obviously you make it silver, but okay. The next book I read, which was to fulfill the um, challenge of reading a book that's older than you, was Favor by Parnell Hall. And this is part of the Stanley Hastings series. It's basically a detective series. It's really fun to read. Stanley Hastings is pretty hilarious. This just follows one of his other adventures where he owes, where, where he does the, um, uh, the sergeant of the police or whatever guy. He does him a favor and helps his daughter out with something and someone gets murdered and Sam Hastings again is accused of murder. Again. Second time. Man, this guy, he just keeps getting into trouble. But it's so much fun to read. <laughs> this next book was to fulfill the requirement of a book that you um, learned about through booktube and I originally was planning on reading Throne of Glass but then I chose Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson instead and that book does live up to the hype because everyone is like oh my god Brandon Sanderson and I'm you know and I'm like okay how, how good can it be how good and it's really good I read that book in one day it was amazing I loved it it was so good it was so unique if you don't know Steelheart is about um, basically this thing happened called the calamity made a bunch of people have powers so it's kind of like the incredible the incredibles meets heroes but everyone all, everyone with powers is actually a villain so like everyone's a siler basically uh, it's great and so you have the Reckoners who are trying to take down the Epics, which are the People of Powers. So I thought that's interesting that the People of Powers had, were called Epics, because I don't think I've heard the term Epics ever used with People of Powers, but, so I thought that was interesting. And it's really good read. I highly recommend it. This next book was to fulfill the requirement, or like the challenge, of reading a book with yellow on the cover. Originally, I was going to read a non-fiction book called Brain on Fire that had yellow on it. Like, you can tell that there's yellow, but instead I chose P.S. I Love You. And if you look very, very closely, there is yellow right there. This is the sequel to All the Boys I Loved Before, and this duology is so cute and adorable, and I did not even know I was in a mood for contemporary until those two books, and it's awesome. As soon as I finished P.S. I Love, um, as soon as I finished To All the Boys I Loved Before, and my sister, I like let her read it and we both read it and we both loved it and then we had like literally the next day we went out and bought the sequel and I, sw I swear to you the sisters in this this series and like this duology is me and my own sister like ooh. there's just so many different aspects of these characters that were us and there's just so many sisterly things that happen that was us but it's just so cute and I loved it so much and if you didn't know the book is about this girl Laura Jean, she writes love letters to guys that she loves, and then she just hides them away, but then they get sent out, and then the boys, and their ad the boys' address are on the letter, and so then some guy comes up to her and is like, um, so what's this, what's this letter? What is this? And then she's like, oh, oh crap, and hilarity ensues. It's great. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Anyways, moving on. Actually, not moving on, because that was it. Those were the five books. So, I hold four, but there's five. Spirit. So that's it. That was my booktube-a-thon wrap-up. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.